Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, sixth grade. This is topic seven, lesson two, area of triangles. We know what triangles are, we know what area is, so we're gonna combine those into finding the area of a triangle. So we'll say goodbye to this little guy here and get right into it. So here is a triangle, no debating that. What we're gonna look at is a little flashback to the last lesson where we were looking at the area of a parallelogram. So if you see and notice, parallelogram can be made up of two identical triangles. So yes, my drawing might not be perfectly identical, but let's assume that these two triangles are identical. So if we're trying to find the area of this triangle, we can use the idea of an area of a parallelogram to get to that. So let's say the base of this triangle, which also would be the base of, a, of the parallelogram is 10 centimeters, so from here to there. Now let's say that height is, looks similar, but let's just say it's nine centimeters, all right? So 10 times nine would be how you'd find out the area of a parallelogram. So you do 10 times nine and you would get 90 square centimeters and you'd be happy and done. But now if you notice, if I wanted to find the area of this triangle, you'll notice that the triangle is actually half of this parallelogram. So how do you find half? Well, you either multiply by one half or you divide by two. So if we take this 90 and divide by two, so that's basically saying half of this 90 is 45. So this triangle right here and this triangle right here would both have an area of 45 centimeters squared. All right, so that's kind of showing something that when we look at the formula in just a second. So these parallelograms can be split into two triangles. So if you have a triangle, you can always make it into a par double it and make it into a parallelogram. And then that's why we can do that little division part. So we'll look at it as well with a square or rectangle. So we have um, we have this triangle here. And again, if we kind of find that exact same triangle, I know that's not absolutely perfect, but you can imagine. Um, so we have this triangle right here, and we have this triangle right here. If we're finding just the area of the rectangle, we would do the base let's say five inches by the height, let's say six inches, you do five times six equals 30 inches, right? Now again, if you notice, this triangle is half of this entire rectangle. Same with this triangle. They're both gonna be uh, equivalent. So if I wanna find just the area of this triangle, logically and looking at it, you would just take this rectangle and divide it by two since we already found the area over here, oops, forgot my uh, squared there. 30 divided by 2 is 15, all right? So half of this square, rect I guess it would be rectangle since it's 5 by 6, is 15 inches squared. So you can start to see a pattern. Rectangles, squares, parallelograms. That's a poorly drawn one, but you get the idea. They can all be split in half to make two identical triangles. So that's the idea we're going to use right here. So right above here, you'll see our formula. So I put up two formulas, you can look at two ideas. So we have area equals half times base times height. So base times height, so that's what we're looking at before, and then divide by two at the end. So dividing by two and multiplying by two is the same, same idea. So same thing over here, you could also look at as area equals base times height, then divide by two, right? So just a quick example, um, four divided by two we know is two, but let's say four times one half equals four over two, which would then be two, four divided by two equals two. So that's just one small little thing that one half, multiplying by half or dividing by two is the, we'll get the same result. So now looking at this real quick. So we have this triangle down here, right in this area. Um, and then we have these two odd looking shapes. So this is a, just an idea to get across. So let's imagine these are skyscrapers. This is a skyline. If you look, which skyscraper would be the tallest skyscraper? Which one has the uh, most height to it? So number one would, right? So this is higher. The top of it is definitely 
higher than the other top. And this is important to know with the area of triangles. You must, might be thinking, well, what is he talking about? So when we look at the height of a triangle, we look at, I like to imagine it like the height it would be if it's a structure out in the real world. Where would you measure to the height? So like this rectangle, this skyscraper, you would obviously measure this right here to do the height. Now this over here, some people like to go and think, oh, well, this line is really long. That should be the height. That's the longest line. That's going to be the height. But no, you just do the height from the base. So if the base is, I lost my marker. There we go. If the base is right here on the bottom. You're just going to measure the height to the very top. You're not going to do it at some weird angle. You're just doing it straight up and down. So that's the same thing with the triangle. So back to over here with this triangle. You have the base, which is 8 inches. Then you have this line they're telling you is 14 inches. This we don't need to use for area of a triangle. All right, this is just the measure of another side. We want this right here down the middle, from the base to the highest vertex. So there's a vertex, there's a vertex, there's a vertex. So the one that's opposite the base, highest um, off the ground, if you want to call it the ground. So for this one, we don't need this number. Um, and a lot of times you'll be given a lot of numbers. You only need two of them. You need the base, which is 8, and you need the height, which is 10. Multiply those together, get 80. And remember, we need to cut it in half, divide by 2, multiply by 1 half, however you want to think about it. And we would get 40 inches squared. All right, so this thing, this is a big thing here just because, again, some people will see 20 whatever it is, feet, 15 feet, and let's say 30 feet down here, probably not accurate. Um, and they'll instantly go to this one as the height because they'll think it's the longest line, all right? But again, it's just the height off of the ground if you want to think of it like that. Um, all right, so we'll do one more together. Um, so let's get some measurements on here. So if we have 22 feet, we have... 12 feet, and we do not have enough information to find the area yet uh, because this is not the height. This is measuring this side right here. But now, if we have the height right here, and it is 10 feet, now we have enough. We have the base, we have the height, and we know we need to divide by 2 at the end. So 12 times 10 equals 120. 120 divided by 2 equals 60. Let's put a nice label on there. 60 feet squared. All right. So I hope that helps you out with finding the area of triangles. There'll be word problems. There'll be pictures. There'll be some that just list the base and the height and give you numbers. But all you need to know is base times height and divided by 2 will get you the area. And make sure you have your correct label. All right. So um, good luck with the work that you're doing with this and stay focused on what you need to do for your math class. If you have any questions, ask your math teacher and good luck.